What's a microhabitat? Well, it's a small localised place that provides a habitat or home for plants or animals within a larger environment or ecosystem. Down at the rocky shores there are different kinds of microhabitats and here are a few. In this rock pool there is a sea urchin that has wedged itself into a rock crevice to protect itself from predators. In doing this it creates a mini cave behind its spiny body. And that mini cave is now a microhabitat for small crabs and young elephant snails. See this is what an elephant snail looks like. Of course Naturally occurring crevices and cavities found in the rocks are other examples of microhabitats. Who is that attached to the rock wall? They're a type of sea snail called an umbrella shell. You can see its soft orange body, but you can't see its small shell that grows on top. That's because algae is growing on the shell and covering it from view. So in this situation, the umbrella shell's shell is providing a microhabitat for the algae. See all that brownish coloured stuff? It kind of looks like part of the rocks, doesn't it? But actually, it's a colony of animals called sea squirts that live attached to the rocks all their adult life. Here is what one looks like close up. Algae likes to grow on the sea squirts, and because the sea squirts are tightly packed together, on the rocks, there are lots of places in amongst their colony and the algae that grow on them that can act as microhabitats for small worms, crabs and other animals like sea snails. This then attracts larger predators like this white-faced heron to come into the microhabitat and feed on these smaller animals that live there. One of the most obvious microhabitats on the rocky shores though are the rock pools that we all like to explore like these ones. Remember to subscribe and if you liked this video, give it the thumbs up.